Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Going with No Man's Sky again. This is pretty. Uh, yeah, it's quite addictive if you let it get to you. I'm trying to keep the microphone a little bit closer here. So, following the signal that I got from after visiting the station, I ended up here, which seems to be like a giant ass crash ship. Um, still figuring out how to make money here. What is it I see over there? Check that out. Anything? No. Um, so still trying to scan places. Oh, there's a bunch. Let's go gather some of those resources over there. So these are quite. Ah, it's gonna be pretty far away. Doesn't matter. Um, and also scanning. Scanning out. There's some of these plant bug things. Are pretty big. Oh, that's what I killed. There's always some wildlife, some. It's very close. It's still getting the hang of the terrain manipulator. There we go. There's a lot of these things. You have to always remember, find it, go for it. It's kind of like a thing. But you need those just to get the salvage data. All of that is the, the more of that you get, the better it is because that's what allows you to uh, get the natural burial site. Okay, that's, that's interesting. It's more of that over there. You know what? Maybe I'll go back and then fly over there. Finish the job here and then go there. Give me there's a burial site. I don't know what those are. No idea what that's supposed to be. Uh, yes, here with these stones, knowledge stones, this is how you start decoding the language of where you are. So just learn the words. Just to learn the words of the things you are, of the place you're in, you need to sort of decode that. Possible distress signal. Let's try following it. The thing is, this is so massive, and there's so much to do all over the place. Very treasure everywhere, it's crazy. Yeah, am I far away from the ship? Yes, I am. I love how you can like remove the terrain. That is pretty crazy. That's that's kind of wild. And you can shape it. I mean, you can literally make a mountain. Just placing. You can place terrain just as much as you can remove it. So you can make a, a hole or just something completely different. So there's treasure over there. Do I even have room here in my inventory? Okay, so I have a little bit. Ship. Out of range, crap. Yeah, it sort of sucks. They open this. No way of opening this thing. About digging underneath. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. Let's leave that for now. Uh, and find... That's super close. Let's go back here to the... Top. Some opening here would be nice. Yeah, but let's go back to this signal we have over there. Reload our fuel power cells. Missing some oxygen here, guys. Gotta get more of that stuff. Oh, so you can call your ship? Okay, that's. convenient. Uh, MS Wings of the Terminal. Park up. Led me to a wreck or a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? I find a pilot's log. Request log, yes. Not only comes for the stars. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic of a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Oh, okay. Hyperdrive. But the hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone places here after the crash, hoping it would be found. All right, now that's not, now that's looking good. I need three, a couple more of these microprocessors, some more copper. Right, the 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 hyperdrive will allow me to go into interstellar traveling. Right, that's good. That's good stuff. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So it's as you see, uh, and this is I don't want to go back to Star Citizen, but you kind of have to. The idea of you can go, you can go exploring, you can go do stuff, you can gather resources, but there is a point to them. You can build bases, you can build the things that you are supposed to build. All of this makes it a lot more enjoyable. No, someone mentioned it's a time, uh, time sink. No, that's the difference between a time time sink and gameplay. If you're playing towards something, and that's something gives you a, a satisfaction, and especially if there's something that persists, then that's not a time sink, then that's a game. And yes, there's gathering of resources, there's lots of, of loot, uh, and that can be pretty greedy at times, and we do that, but if it's all towards something that you can build upon, you have a sense of progression, no, a time sink is basically just watching a clock tick, basically that's what you're doing, waiting pointlessly so. You're not doing that here, and that makes it pretty great. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for now. I hope you liked this little short video, and we had some progress made here. You have the story, you have the main storyline, and then you can go about your way doing whatever the heck you want. But that's pretty cool, at least for me. Take care.